Yeah, good evening everyone. I'm Licia. So hope you all can uh, learn something tonight. Yeah. How how many of you know about like arthritis? What is it about? <laughs> so yeah, maybe can, some yeah. some don't know because most are young people, most are youngster. But do you do you think that youngster will never get arthritis issue? <laughs> <laughs> But I got it uh, when I'm, I think, 20 plus, May, no, no, 19, the earliest I got. 19, wow, 19, so yeah, so I have young. this issue. Because I had, I'm a flat footer, and also I have injury since I'm baby time. So mm. I, I fall down from the uh, tabletop while, while I'm crawling. So the person that take care of me, not aware that I'm crawling up to the, the corner of the table already, and then I drop, drop drop to the on, on to the floor so i fall down but of course i when baby that time uh, all our muscle are so soft uh, all the bone are still okay still very high in, uh, density in in the bone density but then after that wow well, when i'm growing up i start to build up those symptoms already so my first symptom come in i think when i'm 19 years old that time yeah, later, oh. I will share more about my issue. So, okay. can we go to yeah. the next slide? Yeah. Yeah. So, I think uh, I, I believe a lot of people will ask about this. Uh, this like, oh, when okay. you walk around, when you run, then you there's cracking sound on the joints. And uh, why, why is it so, you know? Do, do you all experience this before? Yes, I do experience <laughs> during uh, my student time. So, the time uh, when I study on a, uh, when I study and doing my homework, so maybe once in a while, I may need to get up and go, in, go to the toilet or get something. So I start to have cracking sound when I walk from the front to the back. So I start cracking So all the way to the back. All the way to the back. So people who is in the room actually can hear me. So even though they, they don't know who they are, but with the sound, they know that's me. So I cannot be a, a, a thief. So people will know that's me. So do you all experience this as well? So And then some people will ask, hey, to keep my joints healthy, then I need to move less. Huh? Because people say, the more you move, the, the more wear and tear in the joints, then it's earlier to get like arthritis joint problems. But, but do you think it's like this, that you can move less? <laughs> is it true? Uh? Because I did a meditation. If you never move for one hour, we sitting there for our leg for one hour without moving, we will start to feel the pain already. Are you sure this is <laughs> without moving, you will have less problem? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> and just now, like young people will not have joint issues. Is it true mm. or not? Right? Yeah. So because not many especially young people, like they will think that oh my my body very good. Uh, <laughs> things like that so yes. I, I will not have all these kind of issues these are for young uh, older like parents uh, level kind of yeah yeah so uh, but maybe let us explain to you like, what is joints what is arthritis okay so basically this is our joint so you can see there's two bones here two bones connecting and in between mm -hmm. the two bones there's this uh, special cushion I would say we call it the, the joint the joint area, the joint cavity. In, inside, there's a lot of fluids to, to like basically they work like a cushion. So they, uh, when we walk around, we run around, they take the impact, that makes our movement very smooth, things like that, so that there's no pain, things like that, right? So, and then there's one uh, layer of the membrane outside that's protecting the whole joint area. Lah. Okay, so this is our joint. So for our joint, uh, the normal joint function means that you can your, your joint can move like for the full range of the motion. So it means that if it's meant to like go by uh, 90 degree, then it can can reach 90 degree like that. Lah. Okay. And then bear your weight. Okay. So it's flexible and elastic. So there are many, many types of arthritis. Okay? Arthritis means it's the inflammation of the joint area. Later I will show you a photo to, to let you visualize it. So the very two uh, common types of arthritis is uh, this one, osteoarthritis, which we short form call OA. Okay, it's a normal wear and tear. It's a breakdown of the uh, cushion in between the joints. So causing the joint to start to like 
uh, grinding against each other. So that's it will be super, super painful. You can imagine that. Uh, another form of arthritis is called rheumatoid arthritis. We call uh, in short form is RA. So this means that the immune system starts to attack our joint uh, from the, the membrane. Just now I show you. Okay. So this is uh, our normal joint on the left. So you can see that in osteoarthritis, osteo means bone. So it's uh, bone against uh, rubbing against each other. So you can see that uh, that's the, the lubrication is like uh, no more already. So the bone are touching each other. So when you move, it's like <laughs> you can imagine two bones are rubbing against each other. It's like super, super Very painful. Very painful, yes. Yeah, it's really a very painful type of movement. So for RA, R rheumatoid arthritis is a bit different because the uh immune system starts to attack from the outside rather than from the inside. So they start to damage this area. So making it start to swelling, things like that. And then on long term, uh eventually you will start feeling the pain really because all this uh lubrication is starts to like uh reduce then it will end up in the end your, your bones may be rubbing each other as well. And during this whole process, there may be some uh, bone uh, bone erosion means that the bone is like uh, got some damage on top, damage as well. Okay, so uh, you, your bone may start to become more weaker and weaker over the time. And then at the same time, uh, some people may develop a bone spur, gu ci. So in, mm. during this whole process, so uh, eventually it's like making the, everything is even more painful. You know, it's just like gu ci, it's just like, like you put a needle inside your, your flesh. <laughs> That's the feeling of it. Like, and every time you move, you feel the needle inside. It's picking on your, your, <laughs> yeah, it, it your, your flesh. It's like, what? Wow. Yes. It's, it's really a very painful kind of uh, condition. So uh, mm -hmm. how do we actually like, help on it? Later, we will explain more about it. Okay. So of course, like when we talk about arthritis, a lot of people say, ah, only the knee, like that, right? But actually joints, uh, we have many, many joints in our body. These are all the, the numbers shows all the joints in our body. So each and every joint has the tendency to have uh, developed arthritis. So that's why if you need to be uh, very careful, uh, you really need to take care of your joints. Uh, okay, right? I, I believe whenever we feel the movement is not right, means something is, is, is really like very troublesome uh, when we cannot like, eh, suddenly cannot lift our hand or suddenly cannot walk, then definitely it's super really troublesome. Okay, so yeah. So the cause of the painful joints are actually uh, some may maybe because of family history. Like my case, uh, actually, actually because uh, my grandma, my grandma has this rheumatoid arthritis. So her joint, actually her fingers actually like uh, out of the shape already. But she, because of that long, in very long term already. So she, she couldn't, she couldn't like really feel the pain already. Maybe it's numb already, too pain. And also the gender, also, uh, it will be a one kind of issue, uh, one type of issue because uh, women will have more issue than men for the RA. So, and also like me, myself have the injury before. I have accidents or some people might over exercise. Okay, because they overuse the joint because the joints is something like our engine. Uh, engine, we need to put the engine oil, right? Because engine, uh, Every time the engine work start the car moving, the engine actually is uh, moving up and down, up and down. Same goes to our joint. Our joint is like up and down. It's rubbing each other every moment, every second, you know, when you move. Okay. So obesity is also one of the cause. Why? Just imagine, uh, by nature, maybe your skeleton uh, can only hold 50 kg of body weight, but you have excess body weight already. Maybe you put up to... 80 kg and then your whole skeleton have to hold up another 30 extra 30 kg just imagine how burdened they are that's the reason why uh, it will start to put a burden put a pressure into your joint and then your joint is start rubbing each other and this will cause the arthritis issue and of course post, uh, uh, poor posture because uh, as us as a human we are standing upright not like the animal which is like because there are four 
four feet is on the ground. So we only stand on our two feet. So our posture has to be uh, supported by the two feet. If your posture is not good, and then you are putting the wrong pressure into the different part of your body, that's the reason why your body start to have issue already. Mm. Your, your, your joints start to have issue already, especially women who is used to wear high heel for long hours. Definitely your, uh, your lower back, hip. Yeah. your hip your side, hip. your lower back, yeah, and your knees your and also your ankle also will get, uh, get uh, I mean, get uh, the pressure and get hurt also, okay? So we go to the next slide, okay? So what are the symptoms? So your joint, you, you, you will feel pain on your joint and stiffness. So when you move your, uh, maybe your finger, those who attack the finger one have this arthritis, they attack the finger one, you will feel stiffness, very hard to bend your fingers or your, if they attack your knee, then very hard, you, you, you feel will, will, will have a difficulty on squatting down. And then your movement might be getting slower and slower already because every, every movement will cause you pain also. Okay, so these are the uh, these are the listed things uh, you can try to you can try to diagnose or try to check it yourself, especially those uh, deformation of joint definitely is like pretty soon. Okay, so next, yeah. So sometimes it's like even like normal daily tasks you couldn't do it as well like uh, opening a bottle that's yes. because of the deformed joints it's like you couldn't grab properly things like that yeah it, yeah it's trouble so so at the yeah. same time uh rheumatoid arthritis not just affect on joints it's also affect like all over the body it's because of the inflammation that's ongoing in our body so that's what, that's why it's like uh the whole body is affected so. Uh, like from the brain, from your lung, from your heart, from even from to your gut, your bones as well, uh, things like that. So, so it's really, uh, these are the, the recent research that they realized it actually is really affect a lot of things in our body. So, uh, really need to take very good care on that. Lah. Okay. Yeah. So, of course, when it comes to like medical treatment, so well, the very, very uh, classic one definitely is painkiller to help you to relieve the pain. But uh, then also steroid also to help you reduce the pain, reduce the inflammation, and then uh, it slow down the joint damage. And uh, DMAR uh, is a short form of the, the a class of uh, medication which helps to slow down the disease progress. If let's say your, your uh, arthritis has become like very, very serious and then it's not responding to painkillers, steroids then definitely they will add on this class of the medication to it already okay so and of course uh, biologics is more specific they will target the uh, uh, inflammation more specifically i think this topic might be a bit more scientific for you guys <laughs> so but then uh no worries but it's, i just like uh briefly go through with you all what what is the the treatments available uh when when there's uh, arthritis, uh, especially for a family as well, I believe, uh, they on and off they definitely will go for all this kind of uh, medication already, and also injection. Okay, so uh, some people might if when the when there's really a depletion of the lubrication, then uh, they will go for this hyaluronic acid injection. So, uh, it's just like inject injecting the lubricant into the joints. Okay, but of course this injection is super super painful because you. Uh, first thing is the hyaluronic acid is a very big molecule. So you need to force a big molecule into the joint. That's a super painful thing. But of course, it provides a longer pain relief, like at least six months to one year. So, uh, but then uh, you can see that among all these uh, medications, what they do basically is just like helping you to uh, relieve the pain, reduce the story, relief. slow down. Yeah slow down the progress things like that, but then it's not treating the exact cause of the uh the issue uh, no, the, the issue yeah for example if today your arthritis is because of your sitting posture and you are not changing the posture but you are yep. taking painkiller so yep. uh is it going to help it's going to relieve your pain so 
uh, but then the, the, the wrong posture is still there, the pressure is still there, it's still hurting the joint, then it's not going to help much, right? In the end, you might uh, develop into something even more serious. So that's why it's very important to really understand the difference between like temporary and also like treating the cause so that we can really get the issue settled for a longer mm -hmm. period of time. And of course, prevention is always better than cure. So you know how to prevent your joints, protect your joints so that it doesn't go into arthritis uh, status, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, so for, for improving on this arthritis issue, actually we should maintain a healthy weight like what I explained just now, why weight is an issue, obesity is an issue. So we, uh, like what she was shared just now, if your posture never changed, but you are keep taking the painkiller, this thing is keep hurting you. So you will not solve your problem. So posture is very important. So always have to be very mindful while you are walking or while you are sitting to make sure that you have the right posture. Otherwise, in long run, uh, your issue will get worse and worse. Okay. Stress management is uh, definitely is another thing because the stress actually will cause your body have this a lot of free radical. So when free radical increase, your cell will get inflammation. So once inflammation happens, all the cell will get damaged already. So your stress actually need to be uh, soothed down through your mindful practice. Okay. So you always don't think the past or think the future always focus on current. So when you face any work, you do it now. Actually, your stress can be soothed down. So there's a lot of people start to practice mindfulness because they want to manage their stress. Also. And also regular light exercise. Exercise is very important, but not excessive. Because when excessive, uh, you will create another, uh, another free radical. So just imagine if you exercise, you run, 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 run. Can your body produce vitamin C? Or can your body produce calcium? No, but actually you lost of calcium and loss of vitamin C. So regular is good because you want to uh, increase your stamina, increase the, st uh, the flexibility and of you your strengthen muscle. Strengthen the muscle. Yes, and, and let your muscle become strengthened and let your bone uh, become uh, stronger as well, but not excessive. And quality of sleep because like rheumatoid arthritis actually is due to low in immune system. So because the sleep quality may be dropped or not enough sleep, like what happened to me. So uh, it will trigger the rheumatoid arthritis issue because the immune system will go haywire already. Okay, Yeah. next. Yeah, it's just like uh, whenever we didn't get enough sleep, the next morning when we get out, we feel like, hey, hitty already. Or, hey, why yeah. the whole body feels so hot when hitty? So it's, it, it's actually, it's a form of inflammation already. So, but it's a very, very low grade type. So if we allow it to like continue to, to, uh, to exist, like continuously not sleeping, not having enough sleep for, for very, yeah. very long period of time, then definitely something is going to happen in your body already, right? Correct. Okay, so, yeah. okay. so uh, like bone, okay, uh, the whole joints, and what we, we, what we conceive of, we have bone, we have cartilage, we have ligament, we have tendon, all these are the body parts. So what should we do? Okay, what we need to do is to repair. Okay, to repair the damage and to increase the bone density to avoid a uh, loss of some mineral and trace, uh, trace mineral, trace element inside our body and also to strengthen the ligament, to strengthen the, uh, the tendon and strengthen the muscle. So when you build a house, you cannot just have a brick, right? So you need to have a complete ingredient to build a house so you need brick you need water you need cement you need sands right so like our body we need protein we need fat we need fiber water trace mineral and vitamins to build the whole body let's say for example if your body lack of this cooper so your bone wouldn't be strong enough to hold your whole body because the whole body is built of uh, so many pieces of uh, bone and the whole skeleton need to be uh, need to be strong enough to hold the whole body's weight. Okay? And if you lack of zinc, let's say for example, the, the protein formation in your bone cannot be completed. So if not complete, that means your bone density uh, is going to drop 
and your bone cannot be so strong also. So that's the reason why we need a uh, complete including the multivitamin and multimineral, protein, water, good water and good fat to combine into the cell. So the cell actually will help you to build the bone and build all the muscle, ligament, tendon and cartilage in your bone. Okay, so next. Okay, so we have this secret weapon. Secret weapon inclusive of uh, this uh, double X, and fish oil and protein. So these are the ingredients like what I ju uh, mentioned just now. We want to repair the damage. We want to increase the bone density and we want to strengthen the, uh, the ligament, of, uh, ligament, muscle and tendon of the joint so that we can hold the joint properly. Because just imagine, I have friend actually because of injury, sports injury. So the ligament actually break. When lig ligament is like something like uh, when two bone is uh, holding like this, uh, is uh, placing like this, the ligament actually is something like click on the two bone and make it in, in, in the right position so that when every movement, you will not run away, you know. So once uh, the ligament break down, uh, your joint start to friction, start to run away and the, the movement uh, will not be right already. So when he walk, uh, my friend uh, actually... Um, actually, if upon the sports injury uh, by right, uh, that person should quickly rush to the hospital and do the repair. Maybe ask the, ask the doctor to saw back the ligament and have a right nutrient and help the body to repair back. But that time, probably he, his lack of some uh, experience and some good advice from, from good doctor. So he never do it. So until now, he's just only 40, 40 something, the same age as me. But uh, he, the way he walked, uh, something like old man really. So, and I come across another, another case. So that person have uh, regular exercise. The ligament also, also damaged, but uh, he managed to saw it back, quickly run to the, the hospital to saw it back. And then with the right nutrient and right exercise, he do a lot of cycling. Then he start to build back the, the muscle, muscle strength and also the ligament. And... He walked normally, even though he's 50 plus to 60 already. So you can see uh, this arthritis issue, this ligament issue, is not only attack the old people, but the young people will have the problem. The most important thing is your body should have the right nutrient to repair, to prevent, and to strengthen it. Okay. Mm. So these are the basic set for you to make this kind of uh, protection for yourself. Okay. Next. And also, like our body, uh, let's say, for example, a children, uh, a children, you can see their movement is so, uh, so flexible. So they can sit down, like my little girl, she can bend her, her leg until behind, and then she can do, her, her bone is very flexible. Her, her joints are so flexible because why? Young people, their body, inside the body, they will have a lot of uh, glucosamine. It's kind of... Uh, kind of uh, ingredient in our joint. So when you have enough in our bloodstream, so our body actually can produce some lubricant inside the joint. So our joint become very flexible. But over the period of time, actually, uh, the ingredient actually will drop. So we need to have something specifically come in to promote the uh, production of the fluid in between the joint. So this uh, osteoglucosamine actually is specifically formulated to promote, to help our body to promote the formation of the fluid and to promote the formation of the cartilage and also to repair and to reduce the inflammation in the joint. So uh, the glucosamine is very important because why? Usually uh, we, are, we hardly get the, this ingredient from our food. Unless when you eat prawn uh, or eat crab at that time, you eat the shell. But when you eat the shell, I don't think you eat so much. Maybe you eat 10 prawn, maybe you can eat two or three shell only. So the, the, the ingredient, I mean the percentage of eating the shell that you get from the, uh, the glucosamine from the cell uh, actually is about 2.8% only. It's very little. So you need to take it as a supplement because uh, we seldom have, some people even worse, they never take prawn. Some people maybe is uh, allergic to prawn 
uh, allergy to some seafood, so they cannot take. Then how? They must take as a supplement so that they increase the level of glucosamine into the bloodstream. Then our body has this ingredient to produce uh, the cartilage in the body, in the joints, mm. and also to produce the fluid in uh, between the joints so that uh, it can help our body to move better. Okay? Yeah, and yeah. for glucosamine, right, uh, the, the dosage is very, very special. If you never reach uh, that dosage, because That's some so people safe. like discount, I take one a day enough already, but actually you need to take uh, 1,500 mg. This is a must in order to see the effect. If not, it's not going to, to have any effect on you, right? Yeah, okay? yeah. For me, when I first starting taking glucosamine is because um, actually, I, I that time I was just starting learning nutrition, yet to yet to learn in depth. But then, uh, coincidentally, because uh, my sister actually gave me a bottle of glucosamine because that time, uh, when she has this uh leg pain, her staff actually recommended her to take this glucosamine. She only took like few time only. After that, uh, she found herself get pregnant. Then she she not sure whether this glucosamine will affect her or not. She dare not take. So that's why she give this uh, glucosamine to me. So at that time, uh, uh, if those people who used to listen to uh, my, my sharing, they know that I used to have uh, this neck issue because I have injury before. And that time I still have uh, this, this issue. So after, after she passed that to me, I start to take the, the, the glucosamine already. I found that eh, the joint here, I used to have uh, something like something swollen in between the, the joint is like popping up like that when I when I when I, I when I try to touch my, my spine like that, uh, it's like boom, something coming out. Right? So that place is actually very, very pain also. So especially when I stress uh, I feel the pain there. So after I taking a glucosamine, I said, hey, how come my neck pain uh, relief a bit? Then I start to I, I start to realize that oh actually my body is lack of this glucosamine. I thought all oh, this while well, I thought is my maybe I, I got uh, spring my my neck and then I, I got this um, uh, muscle pain or ligament issue but didn't know that actually is the joint probably the joint got inflamed already so the joint actually play pain also and it caused the whole uh, part of the muscle pain as well so after this taking this glucosamine I immediately can feel the the different of this. Especially like me for myself, uh, uh, those days uh, when I, I used to take bus from my hometown to KL to study, uh, that every trip uh, I need to sit inside the bus for two and a half hours to three hours like that. So um, after, when, when the bus reached the destination, uh, when I wake up, uh, I couldn't walk immediately one because my joint all cramped already. My, my joint are so stiff, so I, I couldn't move immediately. When I move, uh, it's so painful. So when I bend my knee, it's so painful. Uh, I need to stand up and then uh, like shaking, shaking my leg and then moving, moving, like, like people dancing like that. Lah. Like, like people getting this Parkinson. So I have to shake, 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 shake. <laughs> then only I can walk, you know. So, so it's so painful. But then uh, after I'm taking this glucosamine, uh, to my surprise, uh, without, without, uh, without knowing that how useful is this glucosamine, I found uh, the miracle happened to me because there's one time uh, we went to this Sungai Lembing for, uh, for, for maybe gathering uh, with, uh, with friend. And then friend also invited us all go for hiking uh, to this Chai Hong Pu Pu because the, the waterfall actually got this uh, rainbow. Rainbow. Uh, rainbow. So we have to climb the, we have to uh, hike uh, quite, quite, quite high, you know, the, uh, the, the mountain. Then without any places for rest, one we had to all the way go up on your own. Then at that time, uh, because I have to take care of three kids and then I have to make sure they take the breakfast. By the time uh, we missed the time to go back to the hostel to uh, I mean the to the hotel part to, to change my shoe. So I have to wear my slipper and then to hide, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I just imagine, oh my gosh. But then I have to force myself hide la, with the slipper and then someone. Take, take my, my shopping bag some more. You know. Then some of my sister laughed at me like, when, when she saw our photo. Eh? How come people hiking bring a shopping bag? Because I got no time to go, go back to the, to the hotel to change my, change my shoe and change my bag. 
Then I have to hide all the way there. To my surprise, I have no knee pain. I have no joint pain at all. So you can see how good is this glucosamine. Without you knowing, it's already repair your joint and then protect your joint. So thanks to this glucosamine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So of course, uh, glucosamine is uh, produced in our body. So when we reach 30 years old, the production will start to reduce. You can see here on the chart here. Mm. Okay. So uh, by the time we reach 70 years old, basically there's no more glucosamine in our body already. So that's why uh, starting from 30 years old, a lot of people say, wow, after 30 years old, you will feel your body start to break down already. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> here here crap here there their pain or whatever right so uh, of course it's uh true because our metabolism everything starts to slow down we start to lose a lot of muscle we start to lose a lot of things in our body including glucosamine so that's why when we reach age of 30 so we start to feel soreness low energy and then we somehow we feel like hey, i don't want to go for sports anymore reduce the sports because you feel like you cannot move very well already and mm. by, by the time you reach 45 years old there are more damage uh, the the repair of the damage is lower and then uh, most people around this age uh, don't want to exercise really because they feel like much hey, cannot really then uh, but when you reach 60 years old you start to like there are people who start to hunch back already because of the, the weakness of the bone, muscle, you know, all this actually related to movement is about muscle, bone, and joints. So that's why there's a lot of weakness, sudden weakness, like we walk, 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 and then you will fall down one. Uh, mm -hmm. Those kind of uh, people. Then joint pain, joint deterioration. So uh, by the time you reach 70 years old, it's just like uh, everything is like uh, not so good really. Like poor immune system, poor body strength. So uh, that's why it's so, so important to do the prevention, to start uh, taking uh, like glucosamine, adding back glucosamine, adding back good nutrition back to your body so that your body is still able to do the repair to provide the lubrication when your body is still have that capability. That's very, very important. Don't just wait until a hey, already pain and only start taking glucosamine. Then that's probably already too late. And then you need to take more time, more patience to, to in order to, to resolve this issue. Yeah. yeah. So then another thing that you can add on is like a collagen peptide. Because in our joints, it's also made from collagen as well. Collagen helps us to build on cartilage, on our joints, on our bone strengthen, all these uh, parts that are related to movement. So, and then because it's a very in very, very small size, so it's easily absorbed and used by the body as well. So, uh, so I would say like either you can combine like glucosamine with collagen together to, to enhance the effect. Or you can choose either one to help you on that. So uh, we have testimonial to, to show you later on. So about this these two products. Okay. Yeah. So for people, uh, you 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 want to diagnose, I mean you want to check whether you have any neck issue in future. You can see the line. This is my neck. Actually, I got hurt uh, very long time ago, about my teenager time. So the time before I go for go to UK for study, uh, I already hurt my neck. Over the period of time, uh, I didn't know how to how to take care and how eat what to repair the damage. So I start to build up the lines. Really have lines. Those people who have two lines are actually is uh, almost build up the neck issue already. If you have three lines, that means uh, the muscle around your neck area is damaged. But damage that means if the muscle here can hold your head bone, the whole the whole head actually is very heavy. So cannot hold on, uh, then you start to have neck pain already. So myself, uh, after taking uh, this uh, mixed collagen peptide for consecutive five days, I found that eh, the line actually lightened up and also the pain, the neck pain actually relief and reduced really. So can see this because this one is uh, particularly um, formulated just to form the collagen for your body. So the collagen in our body, where else got collagen? Actually uh, under our skin, actually between our bone, all our collagen. So if uh, we, we take protein, of course, we'll produce collagen when you have uh, vitamin C and protein, actually your, your body will produce collagen. But that collagen will actually start to repair other major parts first. 
those important parts they will repair first. So for this small, small part, uh, it will come to the last, but you will never take enough dosage or enough quantity. Uh, it may not come to repair so fast for your um, joints. So that's why we must uh, start to take this mixed collagen peptide so that it can immediately absorb and produce the collagen for your body to use. You can, that is the reason why we can see the effect so fast. Okay? Mm. Mm. Yes, correct. So, and then uh, triple booster. This one is a very, very special uh, product where it's combining like vitamin C, licorice, and turmeric together. So, uh, why it actually helpful in joints because uh, first it supports the immune immune system it helps to balance back our immune system so to like, especially for rheumatoid arthritis is related to like immune system attacking you immune yeah. system going haywire so that's why vitamin yeah. c comes in to help to balance it back okay mm. and licorice and turmeric both are very very strong uh, anti-inflammation uh, ingredients so it helps to protect your joints protect reducing the pain in in the uh, the joint area the swelling area of the joint so uh, mm. it helps to like uh, very good in helping your pain as well so why why because turmeric generally it's not easy to be absorbed by our body so you mark on the turmeric but then it uh, our intestine cannot absorb one so it cannot go inside to our body to to give the anti-inflammation effect. So that's why this product, they use this very special micro-encapsulation technology where it can help to increase the turmeric absorption by 10 times. Okay, so mm. definitely after you take it, you will definitely feel the anti-inflammation effect. Like uh, for example, for my friend, they have like uh, uh, some inflammation issue, like they feel heaty, they, they sore throat, uh, or even eczema problems. So when they start taking this one in one to two days, they already resolve of, mm. of, of all this issue. And it even helps them to sleep better. Yes. Okay. So yes. when you have good sleep, then it can help you to do the repairing work even better. Okay. Yeah. When you have good sleep, your stress also will be reducing as well. Mm -hmm. So you won't stress up your body. So once your body stress up, actually uh, you will your body will consume more uh, vitamin and mineral from your body because they want mm -hmm. to use that to be anti-stress. So yes. you, you, it will steal your, the nutrients from yourself. So yeah. when you have a good stress, uh, have a good sleep, your stress lesser, and then uh, your body will not utilize the, the storage of nutrients from yourself. Okay? Yeah, they will do the repair better for you, right? Yes. Okay. Mm. And also why we add in calcium is because uh, like just now I explained during the, inf the, the, the joint inflammation, the rubbing of the bones, things like that. Mm. So uh, mm. actually it, this is to help to strengthen back your bones to prevent any bone loss. Okay, mm. strengthen the bone so that uh, your bone is still very strong and then it doesn't affect your movement. Okay, yeah. so of course, calcium magnesium is the minerals that helps in uh, signaling of the nerves. So that's why it helps in movement as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so contraction and relaxation of the muscle is very smooth for you. So that's, uh, so you don't suddenly get cramp here and there, mm -hmm. right? Okay, then vitamin D3 helps in immune system and also at the same time, it helps the absorption of calcium. So together, they help to strengthen the bones as well. And magnesium helps to reduce the stress. So whenever we are stressful, take some calcium, magnesium, D+, and then you will find yourself a bit more calmer. Mm. Okay, You will be able to uh, focus, cope with stress even better. Okay? Yep. And most importantly, the calcium and magnesium must be in the right balance so that they can uh, do the work properly. Okay, so that there's no too much calcium or too much magnesium, then, then it will disrupt the because in our body there's definitely a balance of all the ingredients, all the minerals, things like that. So that's why they need to be in the right balance so that the function they can function much, much better. Okay. Yep. So uh next one is uh vitamin C, bio C plus. So, of course, vitamin C, like just now we already talked about it, like protein plus vitamin C will produce collagen okay, in our joints. So, at the same time, it helps in reducing inflammation and pain because vitamin C helps in uh, balancing the uh, immune system as well. 
reduce the inflammation and when when inflammation is reduced, pain will reduce as well. So this is how, how it works. Okay. And of course, it's a very strong antioxidant, protect your joints from further damage. So uh, and you will notice that uh, if you notice just now that in the glucosamine itself, they actually added in some uh, vitamin C into it as well to help yeah. even better on the inflammation and the pain. Right, so this is like a special add-on in case, uh, depending on how severe your joint, uh, how much you want to protect your joint, okay? Mm. So this is like an extra add-on for you. And most importantly, gentle or stomach, because a lot of people say, oh, yeah, I gastric cannot take vitamin, vitamin C. C. Mm. <laughs> so of course, this one is specially formulated to be a time release. So it will release slowly the vitamin C so that it doesn't irritate your stomach. So uh, even for uh, gastric, people with gastric and you can take it as well but of course i would always recommend you to take after a meal okay right mm. so for vitamin b complex so first of all vitamin b is uh, uh, very helpful in nerves we are protecting our nerves because in joint movement definitely nerves is involved if not we cannot move or so <laughs> then also help in rebuilding the cell it's one of the ingredients to help to build back uh, because all the processes like uh, the A need to come here, B need to come here. So who, who makes this movement faster is vitamin B to, to speed up the whole process of rebuilding everything and also helps in uric acid metabolism. You know, people with arthritis, sometimes they will get like, wow, super painful, got one BG here, here and there. That's the mm. uric acid. You know, of, uh, uric acid is actually a form of arthritis as well. Okay, so and then why why uric acid actually likes to go to our joint is because our joint is very small, man. <laughs> so once they go in, they cannot come out already. So so that's why the uric acid will start to build up there and then form crystal, form something very hard on it, and then like they become something like needle that start poking around the mm. joint area. So that's why how do we help to reduce this uh gout uric acid issue is by uh, increasing the vitamin B complex to help you on the metabolism because a lot of people may say that hey I don't I don't take seafood then okay ready la and then no more uric acid ma, right but then you will realize that a lot of people who has gout who already avoid a lot of food with purine they are still experiencing gout uric acid issue it's because it's not because of the food as well, you know, like so many people eat seafood, how come it doesn't happen to them, but then how come it happens to you? Okay, mm -hmm. so the reason is because the metabolism inside your body actually has some issue. So that's why adding in like vitamin B complex, of course, top up with the basic that we mentioned to you just now, so that your body can function even better. Plus, drinking enough water to flush it out from, from your body, then you can settle your uric acid issue. Okay. Yeah. And also because, for yeah. Mm, because we just now we did I did mention that we need to do the repair. So when do the repair, we also need the B complex to help in the in the work as well, and to produce the lubricant lubricant, and B complex also can help to produce the lubrication. Mm -hmm. So that's the that's the reason why B complex is also quite essential in, in the whole whole process of uh, repair and building and also yes. the prevention. Mm. Yes, and of course B complex, uh, vitamin B nine is called folic acid. So for people who are taking this med medication, methotrexate, which is one of the popular medicine used in arthritis, so this methotrexate actually will block the production of folic acid in the body. So that's why. Uh, it will on long term if you are not uh, taking enough folic acid, it will cause you to have low blood count, like uh, anemia, not enough red blood cell, not enough white blood cell, okay, things like that. So that's why, uh, even in clinic, like doctor, whenever they prescribe methotrexate, they will definitely give you folic acid as well. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is a must. Okay, to prevent all this from happening, right? So if the uh, medication got so many side effects, why not you are using nutrition to do the repair, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, medication is always just to like give you more time so that you you let the nutrition to do the repairing work, work for you. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's the main idea about medication. So yeah. it comes to 
uh, like, you know, I have friend who take like uh, glucosamine all the while she's been taking Nutrilite glucosamine but there's one time because there's uh, out of store because of NCO then she she was forced to like take uh, other brands of glucosamine then this is what she say you know she finished a whole bottle 180 capsule the knee is still painful okay so what, what has she eaten <laughs> actually she doesn't know you know you can see that one thing it could be the processing how they how different manufacturer the different way of manufacturing could be different then it affects the absorption the, the how how the how well the body can use that uh, glucosamine second thing is because maybe it's because it's they didn't add it in like the extra ingredients like the phytonutrients the, the vitamin C that helps together to work together with glucosamine to reduce the pain, reduce the inflammation in the joint. So uh, actually, uh, why not? It's just like uh, you get one bottle of glucosamine and then you get a confirmed definitely it will help on your joint issue. Then I think it's like, it's much better uh, because finish 180 capsule, I think at least one month time. <laughs> one month you are, you are having a knee pain. Yeah, that's totally not worth it. Uh. Right. Mm, and then mm. uh the one on the right is because taking no sound. Uh can hear me? Yes, yes, can hear. Oh, okay. Maybe so, no sound for the for the joints. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no sound for the joints. Uh, very good. Okay. So and then uh the other one is on uh collagen. Okay. So this person actually is a cyclist. He likes to cycle all around. You know, nowadays a lot of, it's very popular to, to cycle on highway to many, many places. So uh this person actually he used to have like uh some knee pain and then some cut cut sound when he uh He's riding the bike, so uh, and he couldn't couldn't use use much uh force on the on the leg because like cannot cannot cope up cannot cope with the 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 steep the the, oh, the heel the heel the because heel. they mm -hmm. need to ride up the heel so he cannot cannot his knee doesn't have the strength to cope with that that mm -hmm. uh force so uh but then after he started taking collagen then he found that eh. Hey, this, suddenly I can ride out the hill with no problem, no sound, no no special electric shock. He say it's just like you know that kind of feeling if you experience it before. So so there's no more that kind of pain. And then uh, he also like uh suggests besides taking collagen, also take glucosamine and also calcium together. So it's like pro provide you the whole holistic protection around your joint, especially for people active in sports, if you are running, if you are cycling, if you uh, play badminton, all those jumping uh, kind of sports as well. So make sure you take, uh, uh, protect your joints properly starting now as well, right? Yeah, like for my case, uh, uh, as I told earlier, I used to have cricket sound uh, Every time when I'm sitting too long, when I wake uh, and when I stand up, start to walk, right? Also, when I watch movie in the, in the theater also. So maybe we are sitting there, we cannot go, uh, walk around one, right? So when we watch movie, we must sit still uh, for maybe the movie uh, lasts for two hours. We have to sit there for two hours. Those days, uh, if I never have this glucosamine or collagen, uh, so when I'm sitting for two hours, two and a half hours after the movie, when I walk, when, when I stand up, I, I sure have this uh, this kind of electrical shock kind of sensation uh, because very pain. So the joint pain, and then I also can't like move immediately. All my kids are run, 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 also already exit, you know, but I'm still inside the theater. <laughs> so so I, I, after I taking that already, uh, it's very fast. When I just start up, I just like uh, move uh, my knee a little bit, uh, warm it up because knee actually uh, is very sensitive to temperature, especially uh, suddenly hot and suddenly cold. So in theatre, actually sometimes very cold, right? So the, the blood circulation in knee actually very low. So that's why I used to have something, this kind of issue. So after taking glucosamine and collagen, I, I found that uh, not that bad really. So once I, when I stand up, I just do a little, um, maybe less than one minute movement, uh, shake, shaking and warming up, then I start to walk already. So also less pain for me. Those days, it's very painful if I want to walk immediately. And then for my mom case, uh, she's a 70 plus uh, old woman. So there's one time uh, when she stepped down from the staircase, uh, suddenly there's uh, 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 on the floor got some water. 
so she's almost like slip slip uh from from the from her she she nearly fall lah. She say she nearly fall because of sleepily. So and then she's maybe she because of that action uh, she like she's st- start uh, she's trying to stop stop from uh falling off. So she managed to stand up, but then her uh, her how to say ah, jiao di ah, jiao ban ah, jiao ban her the her foot ah, uh, her foot side ah uh, actually maybe got uh got fracture already. So she start to feel pain when she wanted to step on something. Then she start to walk like 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 uh like people who is uh having having this uh uh big big injury with the with the walking stick really. So she walks slowly like that and then very painful. Then then uh, everyone asking her, hey, what happened, mom? What happened to you? So oh, just now maybe I got fracture because when I step down, there's a uh, water on the floor. Then because of she used to take uh power ten all this while. So that after uh, that uh, that morning actually she have this issue. Then she start to take uh, she increase her dosage of B C calcium magnesium. So uh, maybe few hours later, two or three hours later. Everything back to normal already. All her, all her fracture, everything, no more pain already, and then she can walk normally already. So that is the reason why we say the basic set is a very important to protect, to strengthen your bone, strengthen your muscle. So when you have any fracture, actually your body will protect you. So uh, this this one time she uh, she twisted her ankle. So she twisted, but. No problem, mo. Those days, ah, when we twisted, ah, we, 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 so that's why the basic set is very important. And if you have start to have any symptom like cracking sound and start to have sne- uh, stiff joint, then you must start to take the, uh, either collagen or add in collagen or glucosamine. If you have the budget, of course, you can take all together will be better. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, so anything to add, Chihua? Mm. So, and then like this is like the very basic set for, for joint protection. Mm. So for extra protection means that maybe you start to have some pain really or start to have arthritis really, then this is a very, uh, I would recommend to add in this to you to yeah. uh, extra, to reduce the inflammation and also protect your bone from, from, mm. from, from losing uh, because of the friction. Okay, mm. and also for people who are really uh, more serious really then uh, would, recommend you to add on these two together to enhance even uh, the protection to, to form the collagen even uh, faster for you mm. to, to, to protect the joint even better. Okay, mm. so this is our recommendation for you. So, so far, you guys have any uh, questions, you can type in the chat. Yep, or open your mind to ask a question. Yeah. Mm. Okay. If no, then uh, that's all from our sharing for today. Yeah. So thank you so much okay, for your you. time. Uh, nice. Hope you all uh, get something good values back uh, for your for yourself and also for your friends and family. Yeah. So happy Tongzi today. Yeah, and happy Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>